Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to extract a column from a deep layer table as a vector in R. So in order to use the deep layer functions, we first need to install and load the deep layer package. And this is what we can do here with lines two and three of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it here with line three of the code. And then we also need to create some example data that we can use in the example of this video and this is what we can do here in lines 5 to 8 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new table appears and we can also have a look at this table by running line 9 of the code and uh, then you can see that our table uh, consists of five rows and three columns. Now let's assume that we want to extract only the first column x1 from this table. Then we can um, apply the code as you can see here in line 11. And um, in this code we are specifying first the table, the name of the table that we want to use. So in this case we called our table data. Then we have to apply the pipe operator and then we have to apply the pull function as you can see here. So within the pull function we need to specify the name of the column that we want to extract. So in this case we want to extract the column x1. So if you run this whole line of code then you can see that a new data object appears here at the top right which is called x1. And if you run line 12 of the code, we can also have a look at our new data object. And as you can see here at the bottom in the RStudio console, uh, the data object x1 contains the same values as the column x1 of our example table. Yeah, so that's basically how to extract a column from a table of the deployer package in R. However, if you want to learn more about the topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on this topic and in this tutorial I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.